What is up, you guys? It's Violet Telly here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this would have been last night's item shop if YouTube wasn't messing about and wouldn't let me upload and saying error, error. But anyway, it is what it is. So, you guys are getting last night's item shop earlier on this morning. So, pretty much last night's item shop would have taken us from Friday, the 26th of April, into the early Saturday morning of the 27th of April. Now, as you guys can see, we had the brand new Hella Olden, 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 her, I even pronounce it, Hella Oldenster um, bundle. And we also had the brand new Hulk Ragnarok bundle as well. So let's jump straight in. So we have Hella from Thor Ragnarok. Hella Oldenster. But anyway, jumping straight in, we have Odin's Firstborn and the Asgardian Goddess of Death. Now, she looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, it's, obviously it's not Kate Blanchett's face, but it's pretty cool. Again, this film came out so long ago, but it's nice to know that, you know, people still love this film. I wasn't the strongest fan of it, but it is what it is. So we move away from the default, and then we move into the... The Iron Yar Commander, which again, she goes a bit more black, um, which I noticed throughout the film, which I don't know whether a lot of people noticed, but it's nice to have the alternate style. So we've got the Iron Yar style, and then we've got the Hela style. Moving us on to the Lego style, I believe we have the Hela, which again looks really, really cool. I love the fact that they kept the, like, the giantness of her crown, which is pretty cool. Moving us on to her back bling, we have every queen needs their own royal mantle. Again, very, very cool. We've also got the um, alternate style, which is the Iron Yar. Again, I'm probably butchering that, but that's the way it looks like to me. The Iron Yar Commander, which is all black and sleek. Moving us on to the last one that leads item, we have the Necro Swords. The description reads, weaponry, sorry, weaponry manifested from Hela's own body. Let's see the swing animation. Not bad. Nice little poof. Not bad. Not bad. But anyway, moving us away from the brand new Hella Old Old uh, we move on to the Sakaar Champion Bundle Hulk. So jumping us in, we have Sakaar Champion Hulk, the Grandmaster's Champion from another world. Jeez, really, really cool. Again, I like this look for Hulk. I would have wanted World War Hulk's storyline to be told in the MCU, but. The MCU had other plans, and I feel like it was a massive missed opportunity, but it is what it is. So we've got the helmet style on. We also do have the option to have the helmet style off, which I think is very, very cool. I like both looks, to be honest. Moving us on to the Sakaar Lego skin, which looks really, really cool. Definitely a toned down, but it is what it is. It's Lego, isn't it? Very, very cool, though. Moving us on to the Sakaar shield, we have built with the scrap from around Sakaar and adorned with the champion's necklace. Again, very, very sturdy. It'll work in the ring for what he needs. Part of the Ragnarok set. Moving us on to the last two items, we have the Sakaar axe and hammer. Wielded by Hulk against Thor in the Grand Arena on Sakaar. Let's see the swing animation. Ooh, not bad, that nice little metal tool. Not bad. Moving us on to the Sakaar Scrap Wrap. Now, this is an animated or reactive, but as you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models, like weapon models that you can see on screen here. Ooh, couldn't string my words together. But yeah, it looks cool. It, it is what it is. It's nice to know that Marvel's still supporting. Um, so it's nice to know that Fortnite is still supporting Marvel um, with his collaboration, which I think is really, really dope. Again, we've got the brand new Hela and brand new Sakaar Champion. These are going to sell like hotcakes because a lot of people like that film. But uh, anyway, moving on. Last night we had the return of the Ripley and Xenomorph bundle. We also have the items you can buy separately. We've still got the Billy Eilish right out uh, bundle being pushed, which is really, really cool. I have already covered that in its own Is It Isn't That Worth It bundle video alongside the brand new Nike Victory bundle, which we also had what, a couple of days ago. Really, really strong bundle. I absolutely love this one. I want to grab this one as soon as possible. But yeah, I have covered it on TikTok and YouTube in its own bundle video. Where we also have Katara and Zuko, Zuko and Katara. We've got a Toph pack. Oh, pardon me. Oh. We then move ourselves onto the TMNT bundle return. We've still got April O'Neil. We've still got the Splinter skin separately. We've got the TwitchCon Champion locker bundle. 
Last night we had the return of the Haze, the Chaos Agent, the Bright Storm Bomber, the Athlete Assassin and the Waypoint skin. Some regular skins that we get, you know, regularly enough. Um, if you guys remember, we had the brand new Harpy Haze skin, so we have an upgraded, more fashionable style for the Haze skin. Um, which I don't know which one I like more at the moment, sometimes it switches back and forth in my head. But yeah, anyway, we've got the OG Haze return, we had the Shimmer Specialist last night. We still had the Banana Ology bundle, which I did already cover in its own Easy Agent and Worthy bundle video on TikTok and YouTube for you guys. Moving us on, also, we had the return of the Airhead skin. I thought this was a very rare skin because I didn't see a lot in the item shop at all when it first, well, it was there and then it disappeared and I haven't seen it a lot since. But we've got the Airhead skin, pop into action. First introduced in OG Season 9. So yeah, it's not really rare anymore because uh, it's reappeared back in the item shop. But anyway, moving us on to the Lego style, which I think looks really, really cool. I like that. Moving us on to the Biker Brigade bundle. We've got the return of the Blaze skin. I love the fact that she's like tucked right down into the bottom right here. We've still got the Blaze skin. Fill the world with flames. Part of the Renegade flame set. We've got the Lava Series Blaze Lego skin, which is the first time I'm seeing this as well. Moving us on to the Firestarter backbling warning: contents the fire contents of Firestarter may be hot. Yeah, you definitely know what. It, pardon me, put your hands on this. Anyway, moving us on, we've got the Logic and C. Dot Castro um, little supercar bundle. If you guys didn't know, it is Logic and C. Dot Castro. We've got the Victoria Saint skin that's returned, which is absolutely amazing. We have Victoria Saint, a vampire hunter of the Old West. Part of the Night Hunter set, first introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4. You guys remember that was the Marvel season. And uh, yeah, pretty much we have an alternate style. So we've got the default here. We then also have the alternate style where you have the hat off style, which I think is very, very cool. Moving us on to the Victoria Saint Lego style. Oh my God. What's going on? Anyway, we've got the Lego style, which is the first time I've said this since it's came back. Moving us on to the Slayer's Saddlebag, Garlic Infused and Crypt Rated. Again, you've got a couple of extra rounds in there. You've got your Spike, you've got your Blood Vial or whatever vials those are. Love the fact that this skin does actually have a couple of vials on its body, which is very, very cool. Moving us on, we've got the Order Bundle, which I did cover a long, long time ago in its own Is or Isn't That Worth It Bundle video on my YouTube channel. Moving us on to the Jam Tracks. We've got no new ones, but we've got still got some bangers. Moving us on to the gear for the festival, we move on to the Anarchy Acres Lego Kid, along with the return of the Grimble skin. It does have an alternate style, which is pretty scary. Moving us on to the return of the Bright Bomber, where we also have the Bright Lifestyle Decor. If you guys remember, this had its own like little Lego kit, um, or sorry, little Lego uh, bundle. If you guys didn't get it, I don't know whether it's still in the item shop or in the PlayStation Store itself. I think it is. We've still got the special offers and bundles. And then taking us onto the bottom, we've got the Samurai, the Endo Bundle, we've got the accessories, Fortnite Passes and Crew, and then last but not least, we have the Perseus Level Up Quest Pack. So I'm not going to lie, I think we did pretty well last night, especially how we got two brand new um, Marvel skins. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you like the video. Also, let me know which is your favourite um item and bundle that returned to the item shop last night again i apologize that i couldn't upload this video last night but it is what it is but also which is your favorite the brand new hella old sir or the brand new um what was it called again Sukar champion hulk i just call it world war hulk but anyway if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and gentlemen let's catch a vibe also if you are new please don't forget to uh, please don't get to the bell notifications and get notified as soon as i upload but more importantly don't forget to stay by me and i'll challenge you guys on Sakar. peace